Hello and welcome back to the C++ Primer course. In this episode, we're going to go through the if statement, how it works and how do you actually use it in C++. Now, if you've been using branches in Unreal Engine, you'll see there's a very familiar thing here. So hopefully nothing too strange for you. And if you've touched on any programming language before, you'll see this is very similar to every other programming language as well. If statements are very useful and widely used. So let's take a look. So let's talk about the if statement. An if statement, if you've done any program before, it's basically the same as you've been used to, really. So let's take a look at what we've got going on here. Let's just clean up this code a little bit, make it a little bit tidier from what we had before. We'll leave it at this simple sum value here. And what we're going to do is we're going to check if our value of A is greater than the value of B. And so what we're going to do in here is do an if statement. So we're going to do if... And in brackets, you define the parameter. What is the condition for this if statement? Not parameter, the condition. What is the condition for this thing? And so you can put in a simple uh, value of like five greater than two, for example, um, and that would be true. But we're going to use our variables instead. So we're going to do value a greater than value b. And then you define the contents of your if statement with the different branches using your curly brackets. So the first bit will be if it's true, okay? So if value A is greater than value B, we're going to see out uh, your first number was higher. Okay. Um, I'm also gonna put in a new line here on our sum here. There we go. Uh, so your first number was higher. But if you wanted to check and say like, well, if that's not true, do something else instead, we can use the else key command with another curly bracket situation to determine what is going to be happening after that. So an else here, we can do C out. And I forgot to put the semicolon there. Let's put that back in. Uh, C out. And we're going to put in your second number was higher and there we go so this if statement we can put in all different conditions in here so you do less than equal to ands ors all these little things here um to determine what kind of conditions we, ha we can have in it we can also have composite conditions as well so you can uh, combine conditions together if you wish you can put them all into here uh, but end result is we should get in here it doing one of the two options so i'll put in first of all my first number as eight and second number as three it says my first number was higher and it was it was correct and if i go to play it again and choose different numbers so let's do three and then eight it'll say the second number was higher okay and that's an if statement very useful for doing branching logic um and there's all different uh, operators so you can do uh, that's greater than that we see in there uh, that's less than if you're ever confused by the way of which one is which I uh, think of it like this I think of it like a funnel and the wider end should be at the bigger number so this is saying value a is smaller than value B okay um, you also have less than or equal to and greater than or equal to uh, you can also do equals equals that means they're the same equals equals is different from just equals equals on its own is an assignment so it's, this is in fact making value a equal to value b this is a comparator it can compare is value a the same as value b okay and there's a third one as well when you have th three of them it means if it's exactly equal to but you can just do that one for most of the time You can also do not equals to by using the exclamation mark to basically not it. So that's not equal to value B. Okay. And then we have the if statement. Now, in the next episode, we're going to start looking at loops. In particular, we're going to look at the while loop first and talk about how we can use this in our code. You can watch the next episode right now over on patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley, where you can find all my videos early from just $1 a month. Massive thank you to all my supporters over on Patreon and on YouTube members for their continued support in the channel. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more video updates and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.